Hey boys and girls, it's me Thaddeus P, alias the White Oak Kid. I'm downtown Igo, Virginia today with Mr. Choochie the Bear, who's being awarded the key to the city by the mayor. Now he had no idea this would happen because if you remember, just last week in our last episode, me and Mr. Choochie blew down the, the cemetery wall, but uh, here comes the mayor and here comes Mr. Choochie. Hey Thaddeus, how are ya? Good man, how you doing? Well, I'm just a little bit nervous. I'm just gonna keep it sweet and simple. Let's get the key and then get the heck out of here before, you know who's supposed to be here is that Hens Hansen guy. And you know how he is. I just don't wanna get involved with Hens Hansen today because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Oh yeah, good morning ladies and gentlemen. J.D. Bear here. And we're very excited to be here with Mr. Choo Choo Bear on the steps of City Hall in downtown Igo, Virginia. Uh, Choo Choo, how are you? Great, Mayor, how are you? <laughs> good, good. Um, sir, on behalf of the town of Igo, I would like to award you the key to the city for all your wonderful works with the community here. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Thank you so much, Mayor. I just hope that key opens up the bathroom because I have to go. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, I am really happy to receive this key from the wonderful people here in Igo, Virginia. I want, want to just say, no matter where I go or what I do, that the people of Igo will always be first in my heart. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless Igo. And of course, God bless the United States of America. Thank you so much. Action. This is Hens Hansen, and I would like to know, Mr. Choo Choo the Bear, could you elaborate more on your idea of impoliticide, or are you waiting before you clue in the voters on that? Yes, thanks, Hans. Uh, yes, mom is the word on that still. Uh, I have not, uh, and I will not elaborate out of this time. Thank you so much, Hans. Mr. Choo Choo, can you please predict for us who will win the Super Bowl? Yes, Hans, I think it'll be the Redskins in 2009. Who else? <laughs> Mr. Choo Choo, could you please tell the viewers your position on illegal immigration? Well, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, we are appointing a Blue Ribbon Commission to look into that issue as we speak right now. I'd like to know about your feelings on illegal immigration, Mr. Choo Choo. Choo Choo, we want to know your feelings on illegal immigration. Yeah, illegal immigration. What do you have to say, sir? Hmm? Go ahead, please. Come on, come on. Please, we sir. We want to know. We well, want to know your We want to know. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, yes. I guess now's the time to let it out. Thank you. Yes, Hans. Well, I have a friend who is an astronaut, and he has circumnavigated the globe several hundred times, and he tells me that looking down from outer space in orbit, one of the few man-made monuments you can see with the naked eye is that Great Wall of China. Hence, I propose the Great Wall of Mexico. It shall be 200 cubics by 200 cubics by 2,600 miles from Brownsville, Texas on the Gulf to San Diego on the Pacific. That shall be a recycled product. That shall be mostly tires, and we have millions of tires in this country just sitting in the landfills and pile-driven earth. That should be a cross between, between the Great Mall of America, that Great Wall of China, and, of course, the Gardens of Babylon. It should be built on the blood and the sweat of those who decide to violate the laws of this great and fair nation of ours. And hence, if I'm elected president of the United States, no one will leave this country without my permission. No one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hey, Mr. Teacher, I think you screwed that up, sir. I think the idea of the wall is to keep people from, from getting, getting in, not getting out. What'd they say? You said the wall was to keep them from getting out. Oh, my God. Let's get the hell out of here, Wade. Okay. Mayor, thanks so much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, man, nice seeing you, man. Come on, Mr. Tutu, let's go. Man, I don't know how you did that, Mr. Tutu, but... We'll rectify it. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to them people. I'll talk to them people tomorrow, sir. I was hoping that you might be different, Mr. Choo Choo, a new kind of politician. I find out here that you are either a racist or an idiot. Which is it, Mr. Bear? <laughs> I mean, after all, if you're going to build a wall, it must be to keep people out. Not the people with money, either. The poorest of the poor. Those who need our help the most. 
Are you a racist, sir? Are you? Well, I can tell you, if I'm elected commander-in-chief, I have to enforce the rule of law, my child. Otherwise, there'll be, be chaos. Nothing but chaos, I say. Oh, man, I used to love that show with Maxwell Smart. <laughs> Best part was when he came out of the ground with that, uh, that telephone booth. <laughs> to get them bad guys from chaos. Man, I love that. Hey, young lady, what is your name? Judy Rulliani. Oh, ma'am, I want to tell you something. Mr. Tutu's very, very serious about helping the folks down there south of the border. But, like he said, it is the rule of law, and we sort of look at immigration, illegal immigration, like a game of Monopoly. I mean, how would you like it if you're sitting down home and you're, you're playing a game of Monopoly and eating popcorn and drinking pop, and all of a sudden somebody comes in right in the middle of the game, plops down and puts their, puts their pieces on, on Venture Avenue or the railroad? Folks are, are dipping into the community chest. It just ain't right. You need to start it go. You need to roll doubles to get going. You're the idiot. <laughs> to say. 